Hi, I'm Dr. Ramsey Amin, and I'll speak with you today about sinus foam grafts and environmental allergies and the relation between the two of them. If you have, or if you need a sinus foam graft and you have allergies, there are some things to consider. You can still have the procedure done, just some things to take note of prior to having the procedure done. You should have your sinus lift bone graft at a time when you are not sick, when you're not symptomatic. You know, we all get a little bit sneezy from the springtime uh, when there's pollen in the air. If you have really bad allergies, I'll tell you basically to postpone your surgery until the season is over. Now, my office is in Burbank, California, so besides the regular season that we get, there's what we call the Santa Ana winds that sometimes wreak havoc for some, and, and there are people that are prone to sinus problems or just environmental allergies. So not doing the procedure when you're sick is also crucial. Sneezing and blowing your nose frequently for the first two weeks after the procedure can cause pressure in your sinus and cause the, the graft to move or actually cause an infection to occur which, uh, which would require further treatment. Mucus in your sinus is not a good thing. It may contain viruses or bacteria while the bone graft is starting to heal. Generally, I place patients on one to two weeks of antibiotics postoperatively, and that will reduce the chance of infection from occurring. Sometimes I'll also prescribe something to help uh, dry out your sinuses. Something uh, as simple as Mucinex D over the counter works quite well for most patients. Now, I tend to be very diligent in recommending the perfect time for you to have this done. Unfortunately, I interact with some dentists that have not taken this into consideration and it leads the patient to have a little bit of some troubles that could be avoided, most of the time pretty minor. Again, this is Dr. Ramsey Amin discussing sinus bone grafts and environmental allergies. Please look around on the right column under the category sinus lifts. You'll find other videos and blogs related to this topic of sinus lift bone grafting that has been around since the mid-1970s. Thank you very much.